All right, everybody, this is my official review and breakdown of the Spinolution Bullfrog. I'm so excited about it. I really, really love it. I mean, I am a, I'm a dealer, so I basically saw that it existed, heard what it was going to be, and pre-ordered it. I think I was like the first person because I was really obnoxious about it because <laughs> I was so excited about it. So it has definitely lived up to my... Uh, my hopes here. So it definitely looks like, I'm trying to scoot back, it definitely looks like the combination of a polywog and an echo is a great uh, description of it. And it's it's really pretty. I've got a king bee and a polywog, so I'm actually I'm really enjoying having a more classic looking wheel. But it's got the foot uh, pedal that comes down and it, you know, says uh, Spinolution Bullfrog and of course the wood's beautiful like it always is with Spinolution. So that was, if you didn't like the fact that there was no foot razor on the polywog, then you were in luck. And the pedals uh, are, you know, the same general size that I feel like all of the pedals on the non-polywog spinolutions are. So, you know, they're a good uh, meteor-sized pedal. And here, this fiber's in the way. The treadle is my favorite part. It is uh, built very much like the polywog which, you know, with the way that it moves between the two pedals back and forth like that, which I absolutely love the, uh, the treadle on the polywog. So that's why I was so excited about this one. So you've got your treadle like that. They, you know, lift up like this, which is, that's actually how you put the drive band on like usual. You put it, you know, over the back first, and then Ashley always makes it look so easy when she does it. She just like pulls down on it and it magically goes on. But if you're me, <laughs> you know, you then kind of pick these up one at a time and, you know, bring the band down, you know, around and then put it around the wheel. So it's really simple. And um, then the wheel itself, I don't have an Echo, but I have friends with Echoes. The wheel, it's uh, not as big as an Echo wheel, but it's definitely a lot bigger than any of the wheels on the King Bee or the Polywog. So, and it's a decent decent sized wheel for sure. And it definitely has a good bit of power behind it. And it's really pretty. I really enjoy it. So let me get over here. I've got this fiber. It has the 16 ounce bobbins. It comes with three 16 ounce bobbins. And let me get this fiber off so it's not flopping around. And uh, you know, general spinolution top here with the open pegs and the hook, which I am a big fan of. So then you can see the wheel and like looking down on the pedals there. On the back, it actually has one, two, three, five gears on the back, which I didn't even pay that much attention to <laughs> that it was going to when it came. I am not a, a huge gear person. I usually have like two or three that I like, and that's just kind of what I do. But I may, I'm looking forward to experimenting with this, and of course, they're all golden whirl. Um, see, the Lazy Kate is very similar to the one on the Polywog, which I was super happy it came with Lazy Kate. When I ordered it, I was not sure if that was going to be the case or not, but it's got your pegs, and it took me a minute to find it, but I did. On the back here, there's like this little slot, and I'm assuming what I'm going to use it for is where the uh, Lazy Kate goes, like if you're storing it, and they kind of come at it at an angle. So that's, you've got your convenient storage for the Lazy Kate. And see what else, uh, when you put it together, let me get to the back over here. When it comes in the box, it's really easy to put together. The band, you know, is in one part and then you just bolt this part, on, you know, the top <laughs> bolts onto the bottom, just like, uh, very similar to the polywog. And, uh, let's see, it did take me a minute to figure out what I was doing <laughs> with that just cause it does look different and it does have this carrying handle here that you can, uh, I've left it, I've just been carrying it kind of from one place to the other in my house, but it definitely gives you kind of a sturdy place to pick it up there, which, you know, I'm always trying to be really careful with them. But let's see, I may have to actually put this on the stand to show you how it folds, because that will require two hands. So stay okay. tuned. So the rumors are true. It does fold, and I have to admit it did take me an embarrassingly long time to figure out how it folds. So you would take the you know, Lazy Kate and the bobbins off the top, and there's a little black screw right here under the big one, so not the one that holds it together, but there's this little black one right here, and you push it in kind of gingerly, and then you take, you want to fold it where the handle is going to be on top, 
see how that goes so there's this little gold uh, kind of like you know weight that snaps into place down here so when you're pushing that down you're it's you know kind of spring loaded you're pushing that out and then just gently bring it down so uh, then once you've done that you know you can pick it up by the handle and tote it off so you know I, I can easily pick it up and down with one hand and I'm not like freakishly strong or anything so uh you know definitely i was one thing i was really happy about with the folding was you know on the polywog how like it technically comes apart but you just have to unbolt it this one you don't have to unbolt you just flip it and i've just i put the band on the smallest gear back here and then just make sure it snaps back into place and there you go so that's the deal with the handle so you push in the black button and then move it so that the handle this handle comes to the b on the top Okay, so for some spinning action, see my feet very comfortably go on this back pedal and uh, then on these pedals. And I've got this, like I said, I've barely got on the second to biggest one here. And it is just smooth as silk and it's so quiet. Which I've never had a wheel with a 16 ounce bobbin before. I've got the 12 ounce bobbin on the Polywog upgrade. But, so this was, I was excited to try this. There definitely is more weight in the bobbin. So, like, there's definitely, you kind of get more spin on it just from the momentum, which was the same thing, you know, I'd found with the 12-ounce upgrade. But this is absolutely my favorite treadle of any of the wheels I've ever tried, like spin lotion or otherwise. I just love it. It's exactly as smooth and fun and comfortable as the Polywog, but, um with the extra power of the larger wheel and then your feet are brought up on the pad and the uh you know the foot pedals themselves are bigger so i just i'm so glad i pre-ordered it <laughs> he said my husband and I, I like sent him a link when it you know i saw what it was and we both were just so excited about it because he loves like i said all these wheels too just the engineering so cool and um like i said i just i was so excited that it looked like it was a grown-up polywog and I still love my Polywog, so don't worry. Uh, Polly will still be getting a workout. But this is definitely, like I said, for my business, is going to be my uh, main production wheel here for a while. But I just, I, I have nothing bad to say about it. Like, I was, you know, if y'all seen my other videos, I always try to be, like, fair and uh, honest on comparisons of, like, oh, I don't really care for this one thing. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. It's wonderful. I, I think it's great. I think this will officially be the wheel I recommend to everybody. <laughs> So I, I'm thrilled to death with it. So um, it, it's it's so quiet and it's so smooth and it's a comfortable height. Um, it's not too big. It's not too small. I plan on taking it with me to a local festival tomorrow, uh, downtown Knoxville. So, uh, you know, we will try out the portability of it. But I just, I think it's a fantastic wheel. And it's very pretty and it's very comfortable. And I think it's, it's... From being a dealer, I get asked a lot of the same questions with like, hey, help me decide between this wheel and that wheel. And I always got questions a lot about Echo versus Polywog comparisons. So as soon as I heard this one was going to be sort of a combo of both, I was just so excited. So um, it definitely has lived up to the hype, and I love it. So if you'd like any more information or if you want like a better video on like, hey, I want to see this more close up or whatever, I'm very happy to make it for you. So just uh, email me or contact me, and uh, like I said, I'm happy to make you any sort of, you know, video or answer any questions for you, and I'm going to go spin now.